with Aditi, there has been very exciting changes and shifts in her practice. What she has produced is something she has not done before. She has thought hard about it, about how females are exploited, female uh, workers uh, in the labor industry, in the construction industry, in farming, how they are, they are the unrecognized heroes. They don't just take care of the family, the children, but they're also doing important functions in the farming industry for which they don't get recognized. They are exploited, they are underpaid. Her art objects are extremely aesthetically beautiful to look at, but also very complex in their political uh, sort of agenda of trying to bring feminine politics and exploitation into this residency. So Sagar has used personal materials, materials that mean a lot to him. It's exciting to see Sagar using something, a material which is so close to his heart and his mind. You know, the smell sets off nostalgia. So for him to bring that rural aspect of his with a material he's familiar with and also to try and make a commentary on the urban landscape. And he's also trying to say not just the physical landscape, but the emotional and the psychological landscape of the city. something if you want to relate it relate to it from a simple superficial point of view you will get a lot out of it there's the urban structure there's the rural structure the verticality the horizontal aspect of his work but I think you need to spend a bit more time with the work to understand the sentiment of the artist behind it as far as um, Samir's work is concerned you know Again, I find that there is a direct translation of the artist's personality. Straight, direct translation of this sensitiveness of the artist is in Samir's work. But for Samir, he has actually studied the shape of the pulse and, and how does that shape change? With a little bit of water and soil, how does that change? There is this, this understanding that when he has created this organic material in which this pulse has been contained and has been helped to grow, that organic material is, is like Mother Earth. It's just a small representative of the Mother Earth. graduate who is come from a ceramics background he has produced a 
a series of beautiful drawings which are very humoristic in their language, very simple and direct. series of nine drawings are, are very cartoonist as far as their style and language is concerned but they are also very soft and gentle in the way they exist on the paper as a layer of tissue and then the drawing on top of that tissue paper. What happens is we want something So what he has produced is actually it can be very complex if you actually look at it. He has worked a series of drawings in which he's trying to bring to our focus how these grains and pulses, they are very natural, not normal color, dull, boring colors. But how the middlemen and the, those who are marketing this produce, how they are adding artificial color so that people when they see the people are attracted to colors bright colors so what the middlemen are doing is putting something unnatural into these natural grains in order to make more money so it's all about commerce and it's not about health conscious it's not about health, being healthy so the subject he has taken on the concept is actually very very intriguing but how does one transfer that into an art object? I feel that's why this works better than this.